It's our story. Jim Charlton, Chicago, Illinois. This is one thing I could say is that um, people like Ed Roberts are really important when young people or younger people or even newly disabled young people with disabilities or newly disabled older people with disabilities are coming to grips with their new situation or a, a difficult situation or a world that doesn't tolerate diversity very well. And that's one of the things I think you could say about Ed is that the life he lived, the way he lived it, how he lived it, uh, is a, you know, it's a beacon of hope and is an example for people with disabilities who are struggling in their everyday lives to try to find a way through it, uh, whether they're having problems with their spouses or their siblings or their parents, the inaccessibility of their communities. What Ed did and how he lived um, is important, but it's all, is important socially and historically, but it's also can be very important for individuals who are grappling with their disability or their situation or their difficulties. And a film like this can be shown and distributed and it can act in some ways as peer counseling to people who don't know what the way forward is or are overwhelmed by the way forward or the situation they find themselves in is so difficult that they feel despair. And here was a guy who was told he'd never work. He not only worked, he ran a center for independent living. He not only ran a center for independent living, he ran the state vocational rehabilitation uh, department of California. Um, he was told that he'd never live alone or out of a medical facility or out, out of an iron lung. He's a guy who lived at home traveled the world, probably was to 50 different countries. In interviews that I did around the world when I wrote that book, you know, it was in 1998, numerous people from th in Thailand and in um, Southern Africa, South America invoked Ed's name. That somehow, somewhere, they met this guy, either at conferences or when they had gotten a chance to visit the U.S. They some, somehow found their way to Berkeley and met him. And they not just were touched by him as a person, but they saw what someone with a severe disability that was constantly told they couldn't do something did. The It's Our Story Project is a national effort to make disability history public and accessible. Visit us at www.itsourstory.org or on the It's Our Story Project YouTube channel.